All right, hello. Hello and welcome. I am going to tell you about the immigration issues that came up today. And uh, one issue was a um, woman came in from Thailand. And uh, her sister is in Thailand. And is, she's been there. She's got a permanent green, she's got her permanent green card. Valid for 10 years. Still valid. But she has been in Thailand for the past three years. All right, so um, just in, at the end of 2019, left to go and take care of her mother and take care of family matters. And um, then she, um, you know, her COVID happened. Her mom is elderly and sick. And she was always intending to come back to the U.S., but the pandemic hit. And so then her travel plans, she originally had plane tickets bought to come to the U.S., but her travel plans were all messed up. And so now it's like, hey, lawyer, what do I do, right? And the way it works and the way I explained it to her is that, hey, you know, she should get on a plane and she should come back as soon as possible. She still has a valid green card. The way it works is a person who's a lawful permanent resident of the United States typically should, should leave the U.S. for no more than six months, all right? And the reason for that is when you're out for more than six months, Border Patrol has to readmit you and redetermine whether or not you're quote-unquote admissible to the U.S. So the best advice is to never leave for more than six months. But when circumstances happen, like the COVID-19 pandemic, and when you, you know, or when anything happens where you're outside the U.S. for more than a year, now the analysis changes. And now what happens is we've got to show that the person didn't, quote unquote, abandon their intention of returning to the United States. And the reason that's the analysis and where that's so important is that if the if immigration if border patrol when somebody's returning finds that a person quote unquote abandoned their residence here in the United States they will take away their green card and they will put them into deportation proceedings all right and ultimately a judge will have to decide whether or not they quote unquote abandoned their green card to come into the United States all right and so what my office recommended for this person, and this is the way my office does it, is we recommend and uh, help people prepare a travel letter, all right, so that they're, they have a letter that explains the law and that organizes all of the evidence of the client's intent to maintain her residence in the United States and to not give up her green card, okay? And so what what I like to do is I like to prepare that kind of letter ahead of time so that when the client gets on the plane and then enters the United States, they can show to a Border Patrol official, hopefully Border Patrol doesn't even look at it. Hopefully they just let the person in, right? But in the off chance that they pull the person back to a secondary inspection and they wanna really look at it, hey, let's go prepared and let's have a packet of information ready to go so that we can, um, you know, show uh, that we never abandoned or never intended to abandon our green card. And hopefully they'll say, okay, we get it. We're going to allow you in. That's just this time. Next time, don't leave for more than six months, right? And hopefully it's just that. And then, uh, and then the person can continue as a lawful permanent resident here in the U.S., Wanted to share that story. Hope it was useful for you. Um, I'm facing Bay Area traffic on the way home. Figured I'd do a video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. Hope all is well. Take care. Bye-bye.